What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys everything there is to know about Delta on iOS 14 and iOS 15. My iPhone is currently on iOS 15 beta 2 and it works perfectly fine on that version. Uh, I'm a little overdue, the last time I did a Delta video was back on iOS 13. So I figured I'd better do an updated video. I'm gonna show you guys basically all of the different features with Delta as well, basically how it works. Uh, so hopefully maybe you'll learn something new in this video, but to install Delta to get the application, uh, the preferred method is through the alt store. Now to get alt store, it's its own tutorial. So I will leave my video link for that in the description. It'll be at the top of the description. So if you guys uh, don't have alt store, basically you need to get alt store. And then from alt store, you can go to the browse tab and you can install it here. Also to get the beta stuff, you have to be a Patreon of the uh, developer, just a little info on that. So you must be a Patreon member to get beta access, but you can download Delta right here. Now, for those of you that are jailbroken, I believe there might be a repo that you can add to Cydia and install it that way. Or, I mean, there's multiple ways of doing this. If you're jailbroken, um, you could use, I think like um, AppSync Unified or, or something like that. There's, there's a bunch of ways of doing it. If you are jailbroken, basically, uh, you know, to install an IPA jailbroken is pretty easy for the most part. So I just wanted to put that out there. If there is a repo for Delta, I'll put the repo in the description for those of you that are jailbroken. But like I said, if you're not, you do need to get it from Alt Store. Now a really annoying bug with Alt Store on iOS 14 and iOS 15 is after you install an application through it, uh, chances are it's probably not gonna show up on your iPhone. It won't be on your home screen and it won't be in the app library. Now the way to make the application show up is you need to power off your iPhone and turn it back on and then it will show up on your home screen. So just take note on that. It's a really weird iOS 14 slash iOS 15 bug. So if it doesn't show up, just reboot your phone and it should show up. Now at this point, you should have Delta and we can go ahead and launch it. Now you won't have any games in your Delta. If you've never played it before, you have to install them yourself. But as you can see, I have a metric poop ton of games in here. Now I'm a huge retro gaming fan. My first console was the original Nintendo back in 1991. And I was four years old when I got that. And basically ever since then, I've had pretty much every gaming system since. Super Nintendo, N64, Sega Genesis, uh, the Game Gear, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. I had basically everything. Uh, Dreamcast, um, you name it, I had it as a kid. So uh, I just really enjoy playing these retro games because it reminds me of being a kid. And these are the games that I played when I grew up, so I love playing them. Now, I can't show you guys how to physically download these games uh, because that's a big no-no for YouTube. So I can't download it, but I can show you how to install them. Just know the rule of thumb is you must own or have owned a copy of this game. Uh, to be able to download it for it to not be considered piracy. Just take note on that. And uh, if you guys are curious on where you could find these, just do a Google search. I'm sure you'll find something. Uh, the games are called ROMs, if you didn't know. So you need the ROM um, and then you can install it. So I'll show you guys how to install it and the way I set it up. So we'll go into my files application. I'm going to actually back up out of here all the way. So I'm backed up all the way in my files. So I like to go ahead and put them in my iCloud drive. I made a folder for them here, ROMs. I made one for Sega and I'm gonna install Batman for the Sega Genesis. So once you have your game here, as you can see, it, see it's still in the zip format. Uh, I'm just gonna click share and then I'm gonna choose Delta. Now, if, if Delta doesn't show up on the share sheet here, just go to more and uh, scroll down a little bit and you'll see Delta right there. Just go ahead and select on it and boom bada bing, we got Batman in our library. Now I'm OCD, I have the uh, box art actually on my clipboard. I went to Google to find the box art. So I'm gonna click on change artwork. I'm gonna do clipboard and apparently it's not on my clipboard anymore. So let me go ahead and jump back into Google Chrome here. And it's right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, click on it, save, no, not save, 
we want to copy image. So we'll copy it. We'll go back into Delta, change artwork. And then uh, there's other options here. You can go to your photo library. You can go to the games database or to your files application to choose the artwork. I just copy it to my clipboard. Uh, that will allow you to not have to save all these images. You can just copy them from Google and then put them in here. Also from this menu, there's a bunch of other options like renaming, which I'm gonna do really quickly because I don't like the jibber jabber at the end of the name. I just like it to be the way it's supposed to be. As you can see, every game I have done that for. Super OCD when it comes to these games. And there's some other options here. Um, you have you can change the controller skin. I'll get more into that in a minute. Uh, you can share the game. There's save states. You can import save file or export save file as well, or delete the game if you don't want it in your library anymore. So those are the, uh, the other options. Now, once you have the game, you can just click on it and start playing it. And as you can see, the, the Delta controller skins, I think look really, really nice. Let's go ahead and just get the game playing here. There's uh, audio, the audio works perfectly fine. I'll turn it up for you guys. So there you go, that was pretty loud. Um, but yeah, the gameplay is perfectly fine. There's haptic feedback on the uh, controller and it feels really nice. So now I'm gonna show you guys some stuff in the settings that you might not know about Delta and uh, hopefully help you guys out there. So if we go into settings here, uh, the first section here are all the different controller skins. As you can see, there is a controllers option. Uh, so you can change the skins. I'll show more of that in a second. Uh, you have your controller opacity. So if you want it to be more uh, see-through or more, more opaque, you can adjust that. You have haptic feedback. I leave both of those on because I think it really makes uh, the games feel nice when you can feel a haptic feedback as you click the buttons. And then this is the most important thing with Delta, in my opinion, is the Delta Sync. This allows you to choose a service to sync with automatically. I use Google Drive. I think you can use Dropbox as well. I would highly, highly, highly advise you guys to use Delta Sync. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to save all of the games that I have in Delta and it's going to save all of the save states. So anytime I save a game, it will sync up to Google Drive. Now, what's nice about this is I can go ahead and play a game on my iPhone and then jump onto my iPad and continue playing it right where I left off. And then I can save it on my iPad and then I can continue where I left off on my iPhone. Also, if I ever have to delete the Delta application off of my iPhone or the certificate revokes or something like that, um, I don't have to worry about reinstalling all of the games. It's so incredibly nice. Uh, highly advise you guys to do the Delta Sync. Um, that, that is one of the greatest features of this emulator, so it's not all standalone on your iPhone. Um, you, you literally just sync it up and you never have to think about it again, I can delete this app right off of my phone, reinstall it, and then just sign in, and boom, I got all of my games back and all of my save states. Incredibly cool feature. There's also haptic touch for home screen shortcuts, context menu, there is um, core settings for the Nintendo DS, there is the Patreon information if you guys want to join the beta for Delta, and then there is the credits to the developers there. Now. Another really cool thing about Delta is it does con uh, it does support controllers. It supports any MFI controller, and this includes the Xbox One S and newer controllers. This includes PS4 and newer controllers. Uh, this also, like I said, supports any MFI supported controller. I have some really cool ones like the Backbone. I have the um, GameSir controllers, which I absolutely love using with Delta. And I think that having a controller with Delta really extends the the experience of playing these games uh, quite a bit. So I think that, you know, being able to use a controller with them is absolutely amazing. Uh, if you guys are curious about any of these controllers, I will leave the video links for them down in the description. I've done video reviews on all of them. Also, they have, you know, the uh, Amazon links if you guys were, you know, curious on pricing and availability, so be sure to check out the description if you guys are curious about any of these controllers. But like I said, there is controller support, 
And for those of you that aren't going to use a controller, there is also skin options, which I think is really cool. So for each gaming system, you can change the skin. Now the easiest way to do this is to go into Google here and we'll go to this website. Let me clear all this and we'll back up. So Delta Skins, this website here, again, I'll leave the link for this in the description as well. Uh, you can download controller skins from this website and it's really quite cool. So uh, if we go into Nintendo 64 here, as you can see, these are the different controller skins that we can download and use in Delta, which I think is really cool. So I think that this one looks pretty sweet. So we're just gonna click on it. I'm gonna click on download now, download in Chrome, and then I'm gonna click open in. And I'll, all I gotta do is choose Delta. Now we should click done. There should be syncing. So as you can see, it's synced automatically with my Google Drive. So it saved that controller skin um, to my Google Drive. I don't even gotta think about it. If we go to the Nintendo 64, as you can see, there is the portrait skin and the landscape skin. So you can adjust both of these. You just click on the skin and then you can choose a different skin. Now, uh, they come with one by default. So everything else you guys are seeing, I have downloaded. I really like the kind of white one there. This one looks cool, the one I just downloaded. And then we have this kind of black and green one. And to use it, you just select it. You can do the same thing here with the, uh, the portrait or the landscape mode, sorry. Uh, for the most part, these are usually all just the same. I'll just choose that one to change it up. And then if we back up now, if I go ahead and go to the Nintendo 64 um, section here, I can choose a game. And as you can see, there is my controller skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and click menu and exit out. As you can see, that's it's syncing automatically as I do anything. Now, another thing that's cool is you can specify which controller skin you wanna use for a specific game by clicking here. As you can see, let's say I want to use the stock purple one for this one, I'll click done. And now when I uh, will resume, as you can see, it changes the skin just like that. I've actually never tested, does that change it just for that game or is it for all other games? So yeah, it's only uh, for that one game. So it is game specific, which is pretty cool. So if you guys want a specific skin for a specific game, you can specify that. Pretty freaking cool. And that's basically it for Delta. I think that's just about all of the coolest things you can do. I believe there is a way to do multiplayer. I have not figured out how to do that. I would assume you can um, connect two controllers and that would allow you to play multiplayer maybe. I don't know, I've never really tested it. I don't have anyone to play it with, so I don't, I don't know about that, but I think it might be possible. But I just play this by myself and it's for my own enjoyment, so I don't do any kind of you know um, multiplayer or two-player games or anything like that. But uh, that's gonna be basically it for Delta, guys. This is Delta on iOS 15 slash iOS 14. Again, be sure to check out Alt Store video link in the description and all of the other links that you guys might find interesting. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.